relaxing. Eclectic. One word. Fulfilling. Serenity. It doesn't! Hot, hot or hot. Relaxing. Oh my gosh, I can think of a hundred words. <laughs> Life in Brunei has been wonderful for us for the last five years. Um, I'm here with my husband and two teenage children. Um, there's lots to like about Brunei. Yeah, it's, a, it's a very affordable place to live. It's a very friendly and easy place to live. Uh, the schools are wonderful. The teachers are very embracing. Um, so I love coming to work each day and I'm in, thoroughly enjoying the challenge of teaching in these situations. Uh, I feel much more fulfilled from my teaching here because I can um, put everything into it that children need me to, to make sure it's really impacting on them. It's the best place for the work, work, leisure ratio because I find I have time, even though I'm busy at work, I have time to pursue my other interests. Whereas in other jobs, uh, I never really seem to get the time to enjoy myself. I currently teach about 12 hours a week. Um, I come from New Zealand where I was teaching 21 periods so um, you get lots of time to do your marking and to catch up on your paperwork and to actually set really good lessons. Um, in terms of my English language teaching, I'm learning lots of different ways to develop um, resources I already have or create new resources so that they're fun for the boys. Um, and also my drama education, I'm really lucky I'm the drama advisor for the Ministry of Education this year so that's been a really big um, professional development opportunity for myself so I know there is lots of professional development that CBT offer as well so I mean it's as much or as little as you want to take on really. I teach the special needs students, the students who are a bit more struggling, vocational college students. I teach some mainstream occasionally but I prefer the weaker students where I can have a bit more of a challenge. CFBT are actually really good in supporting the new teachers who come out or any teachers who have been here for a long time because they do actually offer quite a number of courses, so it's like ICELTS, they offer courses in Delta, in CELTA, there's quite a number of courses that they subsidise heavily to help teachers better their own futures. A typical day we start at 7.30 and work till 12.30 uh, teaching and then we have three staybacks uh, for an hour and a half uh, each week. and then we're done two o'clock most days. You know, it's great. We don't have to take a lot of work home. A lot of it can be done at school in those staybacks, all our marking, all our preparation. And then we have time to spend with the family and it's just fantastic. Uh, outside of work, I do quite a few sports. I guess I play soccer, I golf, I play some touch rugby. And then we go hiking with the kids all the time. We have a beautiful pool at our house so we go, go swim all the time. Uh, the kids love it, yeah. They, they love uh, our Ama, the nanny, and they love life here because we do get to spend so much time with them. And My daughter has just become a teenager and she attends the international school in ISB and absolutely loves it. We like to do a lot of things together, for example, sporting activities and going for walks and particularly like going to the beach the beaches here are really beautiful and underused. We like going quad biking right up the coast and also just hanging out with friends, you know, going to people's houses and having barbies and relaxing. Down here in Kuala Balite there's such an expat community. There are always functions, there's always events going on. So here in KB you could actually have a very, very busy social life where you're busy every single night of the week or you could have a very quiet, laid-back life where you just spend time on the beach or relax at home with your family and friends. Oh wow, the travel opportunities. In all the years we've been here, we've been all over Asia. I've taken the girls to places like Hong Kong, to Japan, to Singapore, to KL, to all over Malaysia. It's Being able to travel from here is such a blessing. We just spent two weeks in Bali. It was uh, quite relaxing. It's just so accessible all of Southeast Asia here. Again, something that we wouldn't be able to do. 